Because social media is becoming ever more of a mainstream concept, because people aren't afraid of creating web content, because people aren't afraid of watching and, and making time for web content, I think we're going to see that social media ceases to be sort of a, uh, a separate movement from mainstream media within the next probably three to five years. Uh, we're going to see a, a case where creating a podcast, creating a blog is seen in a, in a lot of ways as being every bit as justifiable as having what was once termed a legitimate media job. Uh, already we're seeing a lot of folks who just create blogs, uh, who just create blogs and podcasts are taken seriously by their fan bases, but they're not taken quite so seriously by the mainstream. But little by little that's changing, especially in the blog world where you can break a story in the blog world. You can, you can have breaking news, you can have important information coming through. Uh, Twitter is a great example. A lot of folks are using Twitter as a way to keep tabs on news from around the country. I know I personally had an odd experience with Twitter where when we had the Virginia Tech shootings last year, I didn't find out about it through Yahoo News. I didn't find out about it through CNN. I found out about it because uh, one of the people that I follow on Twitter is an NBC cameraman who was driving down to the shootings and was twittering about it from his Blackberry. And I saw this come through and I, I, I said, you know, heading to Blacksburg, uh, security vehicles behind me, hoping we get there in time. And I thought, what, what is, what's going on here? And based upon his information, I looked deeper and found out what was really going on. Uh, a lot of folks were using Twitter for um, you know, uh, earthquake coverage, uh, national, uh, natural disasters, things like that. You're able to use social media to spread legitimate information, important information. Uh, maybe the best example was the CNN headline of the, uh, the activist who was in China and got arrested for, at a protest and twittered the word arrested from his mobile device and all of his friends back in America noticed this and got in touch with the consulate and got him out of jail as fast as possible. You, social media isn't just for people sitting in their attic tweeting about and, and, and blogging about why they couldn't get a date. It's actually about mainstream content. And I think as you see that happen, we're going to finally get to a point where bloggers and podcasters and reporters and uh, media icons can look each other in the eye in the same room and not think, you know, we're from different worlds or I'm more legitimate for doing this type of media than you are for doing this type of media. It's going to become one nebulous ball with Canadians.